Hello and welcome to introduction to epistemology and today we are going to discuss the third and last theory which is pragmatism. To understand the meaning of pragmatism we need to know the difference between meaning and the truth. And meaning is defined as a declarative sentence that may be under certain circumstances is true. For example when we say that Venus is red so it is true under certain circumstances when Venus is red and it, this is not exactly mean that Venus is actually red. If for example we say that 7 plus 5 is equal to 12 so it means that when we add the 7 and then add 5 then it will make 12. So the 7 may be 7 chocolates and then 5 chocolates when we add then then make it 12. So when we talk about meaning meaning is true in the circum uh, under certain circumstances but it could be fall under certain circumstances so let me take the slides if we take an example i mentioned one proposition that if there is we say that there is a gap there is a gapping hole in the middle of the cafeteria would you believe this proposition to be true and making a practical difference in your life so maybe it is possible that it will not make any practical difference in your life and maybe uh, you are not believing that there is a hole in between the cafeteria maybe you are believing something other so we need to understand that or when we talk about pragmatism approach uh, or when we talk about pragmatistic approach we are talking about uh, the practical approach of the problem and actually the term pragma means activity or it also defined as work done so the pragmatists believe that reality is constantly changing and then we will learn through our experience and, and thoughts to the problem that they arise so if you take example of this comic picture there is a comparison between idealist and pragmatist so what idealist, uh, what idealist believe that we, they said in this picture that I have so many ideas that I will revolutionize life on earth and bring awesome changes to mankind. Whereas when we talk about pragmatistic approach, uh, the approach will be different like is a practical approach that the person is talking to that idealist that could you please, could you please uh, throw that gar garbage out? So the pragmatistic approach is more like a practical approach to the problem whereas idealistic approach is more like an idea given and uh, is more like a thought pro process of changing something or giving some new ideas as the name indicate as well. So that's how the difference between two different characteristics and keep in mind that meaning or meaningful sentence could be true or could be false. It could not be uh, always true or it could not be always false and uh, James which is actually the foundation or founder of the pragmatism he is also saying that the other theories like coherence theories and correspondence theories they are not competing theory but they are different approaches or different tools applied to belief so that to see the belief will work so these are all different kind of theories that act uh, under certain circumstances or certain conditions so thank you so much for today's lecture and hope to see you again